Hey, just popping in quick for a second. Um, if you watched my last two videos, I mentioned that I was pre-recording because I thought that we were gonna be moving soon. We literally got like this close to buying our absolute dream house and then we decided to not do it. <laughs> so we're not moving right now. I don't know when we will be, but we're not right now. So that's all. Back to your regularly scheduled content for me. Is this somehow not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Damn. By now you probably know I'm a big Bob's Burgers fan. I've already made a pattern for Louise's ears. You can check that out up here, I think. Up here? Up here? I don't know. And of course, you know, why wouldn't I make a coochie copy? I found this yarn at Michael's. Ooh, sorry. Actually, my mom found it and bought all of it. I think it's on clearance, so it's probably been discontinued. But when I saw her come home with this, I was like, this is perfect. Because I'd already been planning to make a coochie copy. I actually had this yarn right over here reserved for it, but like, this one's so much better. This is the Bernat Forever Fleece Finer in the color Zing. It says it's a weight five. It really truly does not feel like a weight five. It feels more like a four to me, but I don't know. It says it's a weight five. It feels a lot more like a weight four. I think that the Karen, what is it? Karen Super Saver or um, Red Heart One Pound Skeins. It's like a bit thicker. You could use those as a replacement. Um, or you can just use a weight four yarn instead um, and use a bit of a smaller hook. Either will do. You will have a, a bit of a smaller finished product, but it, you know, it's fine. This pattern calls for that weight five yarn technically and a four millimeter hook you don't need a ton of it this skein is 385 yards and i did not use even half of it so i used these 20 millimeter um safety eyes they're black i painted them white and put a little black dot in the middle um and then i stitched his little mouth here so the way this is made is like it's just this kind of like peanut shape and then I made his little arms and his little ears. Sewed them on. Super, super, super easy. Can definitely get this done in a couple of hours. So let's get started. So as usual, we are gonna start off with a magic ring. Chain one to secure it. And then we are going to single crochet eight in that mag magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we are going to pull that magic ring closed. I'm so sorry if you can hear my dog snoring, by the way. Um, I'm not going to wake him up. He's so sweet. Okay, so now in round two, we are going to single crochet two in each stitch. So we'll have 16 stitches total in this round. One. Two in that same stitch. Then I'm gonna mark the first stitch of this round with a stitch marker, just to keep track of it and where it is. Now in round three, we are gonna single crochet and then increase in the next stitch. And what I mean by increase is I just again mean single crochet two into one single stitch. So I just single crocheted my first stitch of the round and now in my next stitch I'm going to single crochet two. So increase. And when I say increase for the rest of this pattern, 
That's exactly what I mean, is just single crochet two and one single stitch. We'll have a total of 24 stitches in this round. Now in round four, we are going to single crochet two one, mark that first stitch, two, and then increase in the third stitch. One, two. Single crochet one, single crochet two, increase. All the way around. You'll have 32 stitches in this row. Now in round five, we will single crochet three, one, mark the first stitch, two, three, and then increase in the fourth stitch. One, two, three, increase. And we will have 40 stitches in this round. That finishes row five, round five. And pretty much here, we just have big circle. So now in rows six and seven, we are going to single crochet around. No increases. Now in round eight, I'm going to single crochet four and then increase in the fifth stitch. So there's my first two, three, four, increase in the fifth stitch, repeat it around one, two, three, four increase all the way around and you'll have 48 stitches in this round. Now in rows 9 through 14 you're going to single crochet around. So that's going to be six rows I'm just single crochet around. I will meet you back when I'm done with those six rows for row 15. Here I am again at round 15 and I'm going to single crochet four. There's my first one. Two, three, Four, and then I'm going to single crochet two stitches together. And how I do this is I insert my hook, draw up a loop, insert my hook into the next stitch, draw up another loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. And that's how you single crochet two together. So again, one, two, three, four, Single crochet two together. Do that all the way around. You'll have 40 stitches at the end of this round. Now for round 16, I'm going to single crochet three. 
then single crochet two together. One, two, three, together. All the way around and you will have 32 stitches at the end of this round. Now in round 17, I'm going to single crochet two and then single crochet two together. One, two, single crochet two together. One, two, two together all the way around and there will be 24 stitches in this round. Now for rows 18 and 19 we are going to single crochet around. So that's two rows of just single crochet. Okay, so that finishes round 19. You have something that looks a little like this. These are 24 millimeter safety eyes. You look like this. And I don't know, I assume you can probably find white ones. I just get mine in bulk uh, from Amazon. These are black, obviously. What I did for this guy was I sanded down the black eyes just a little bit to make it a little rough so that the paint would wanna stick better. Um, and I just painted them white and I made a little dot with Sharpie. And then I sealed it with Mod Podge. Honestly, you probably don't even have to sand these down. I just wanted it to be a little more durable, but yeah, all I did was use some acrylic paint and paint them. <laughs> to add your eyes, you're going to count eight rows up from the bottom. So here's my first row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And your eyes are going to go in between your 8th and ninth row. So right in this space here. Better. Right in here. So here's the ninth row. My finger's on the 8th row right here. It's going to go right in the middle. There's my first eye. And then we want to place the other one approximately 7 stitches away from this eye. So I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then I'm going to count again just to make sure there are 7 stitches visible in between these eyes because these eyes, they do cover a stitch or two and we want 7 visible stitches in between the eyes. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven. Perfect. So now I'm gonna put the backs of these on. The backs look like this. And they just go right on the back of here like this. Press down, you'll hear a couple clicks. And they're secure. And if you want to make these child safe, just because these can they definitely could be pulled off with enough force or, you know, it's just better to be safe. So what you could do instead is just like in the beginning, but with white, you can make a magic ring and single crochet eight into that magic ring. And then in round two, single crochet two into each stitch for a total of 16. And then slip stitch to your first stitch of round two, tie off, make a little black dot in the middle and then you can just sew them right on the face the same way and in the same position where these go. So now that we have our eyes in, I'm going to stuff the head. So 
stuff it firmly, but be sure to not stuff it too much. Because uh, if you if you really stuff it full, it can stretch and then you'll have gaps in between your stitches and you don't want that. So there's your head and now we're going to move on to the body. So in round 20, which is where we are now, we are going to single crochet, ooh, we are going to single crochet two and then increase again. One, two, mark that first stitch, increase, and we're going to do that all the way around and we'll have 32 stitches in round 20. Now in round 21, we're going to single crochet three and then increase. One. Two. Three. Increase all the way around. And you will have 40 stitches in this round. One. Two. Three, increase, oops. Now in round 22, we are going to single crochet four and then single crochet two. We're going to single crochet four and then increase two, three, four, increase, one, two, three, four, increase. You'll have 48 stitches in this round. Next up is round 23 and we are going to single crochet five and then increase in the sixth stitch. One, Two, three, four, five, increase. And we're gonna do that all the way around and we will end the round with 56 stitches. One, two, three, four, five, Increase. And for rounds 24 through 33, we are going to single crochet all the way around. So that's 10 rounds where we're just going to single crochet all the way around. No increases, no decreases. So I will meet you back once I have completed those 10 rounds. Okay, so I've done my 10 rows of single crochet and now I'm moving on to row round 34. And in round 34, I'm going to single crochet five and then single crochet to get two together. One, two, three, four, five, two, 
two together. One, two, three, four, five, two together. Repeating this around and there will be 48 stitches in this round. Well, in round 35, we are going to single crochet four and then single crochet two together. One, two, three, four, two together, all the way around. There will be 40 stitches in this round. Now in round 36, we'll single crochet three and then single crochet two together. There will be 32 stitches in this round. There's one, two, three, two together, one, two, three, two together, all the way around. Now in round 37, we are going to single crochet two and then single crochet two together. One. Two. Two together. Repeat that all the way around. One. Two. Two together. And there will be 24 stitches in this round. At this point, you are going to stop and stuff the body. Make sure you get up into the neck and make sure that it's stuffed firmly in here, um, just so you don't have a floppy, weird head. Um, and it should like help make them stand a little taller as well and I I stuffed it firmly but I did not overstuff it um, because we don't want it to pull and like create a lot of little holes that you can see through now we're on to round 38 and we are going to single crochet one and then single crochet two together one Two together. One, two together. And we are going to repeat this all the way around. There will be 16 stitches in this round. Now in round 39, we are going to single crochet two together eight times. So we're just single crocheting two together all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
Okay. Now in round 40, we're gonna do that same thing. We're gonna single crochet two together four times. One. Two. It does get a little tricky here. Three. Four. And now you can tie off here. Awesome, that is definitely the hard part. So now we'll move on to the arms. These are super easy. You make two of them. You're gonna start by single crocheting eight in a magic ring. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me close that magic ring up. And now, for rows two through six, you are just going to single crochet around. This is round two. This is round three. Round four. Round five. And round six. When you get to this point, you're gonna wanna stuff it with the tiniest little bit of stuffing. And I really do only mean like a little tiny bit. Ooh. Just in the bottom. I'm gonna probably take this half out. Stuff it all the way in the bottom. And then we are going to pinch the top closed and single crochet it shut. And I'm going to do that by single crocheting in the stitches on both sides. So here I'm going to insert my hook into this stitch and then I'm going to go right through the stitch on the opposite side and single crochet. There should be four single crochets here all the way through both sides two three four and now you can tie off i like to leave a tail long enough to sew my arms on and again you are going to make, want to make two of these so make another one and join me back to learn how to make the ears. The ears are super, super easy. I start by making a slip knot. And now you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five, now you're going to turn and in the second chain from your hook 
you are going to single crochet in the next stitch you are going to half double crochet and double crochet so there's our half double crochet and here is our double crochet again both of those two stitches are going into that same chain now in the next stitch we are going to double crochet and half double crochet double crochet half double crochet and in this last chain here we're going to single crochet Ta-da! And that makes the perfect little ear shape. And you can tie off here, leaving a tail long enough to sew onto your head. It will want to kind of make the C shape, but that is perfect because that is how it's going to be sewn on the head anyway. So it's excellent that that's how it naturally wants to be. finish your coochie copy, you are going to sew your arms on to either side of the neck, right in the middle. You can see it's like pretty darn close to the center. And if you would like, you can also secure the like bottom parts of the arms down so that his arms aren't flapping everywhere. And you are going to sew on the ears to the head in a C shape. I like to align the ears a couple of rows above the eye and a good three stitches behind. See, one, two, three, up two rows, and then in a C shape. And then of course, if you used black safety eyes, you are gonna wanna paint them and add that little pupil detail and then just sew a little black line for his mouth right in the middle. And he's all done. Good job. We did it together, you and me. We're unstoppable. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please leave me a thumbs up and maybe a nice comment to let me know I'm doing a good job. If you didn't like it, you can let me know then too. <laughs> help me help me improve a little bit. Open to constructive criticism. Just don't be mean. What the heck? I'll just delete your comment. <laughs> uh I think that's about it. I will probably have this the, like the written version of this pattern available for purchase on my Etsy or on my website. As always, my patterns are less expensive on my website. Um Etsy just takes out more in fees, so I have to charge a little more there and uh you know it is what it is if you prefer to buy off of etsy feel super free to do so um i know some people just prefer to buy things on etsy super valid if you want to save a couple bucks head over to my website uh yeah you can follow me on instagram on tiktok twitch hopefully i'll be streaming on twitch again i was only able to do it like one time and then my computer broke <laughs> So I'm hoping to get back to streaming again. That was really, really fun. Um, I think that's about it. If you have any other suggestions for little pop culture projects I can do, whether that's like clothes or little plushies, or if you want to see it, let me know. Maybe I'll do it. But yeah, I think that's about it. I will see you next time. Later. By now, you probably know I am a big box. <laughs> Ugh, come on. My tripod broke the other day, so I've been having a really hard time. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Girl. Let's get it together. Uh. Sorry, I'm kind of snivy. I'm not feeling very good.
Oh gosh. I just almost pulled my string apart. A couple weeks ago, somebody told me my tutorial was ugly and that I best not be teaching things. 